learn to ignore them. Flying on my own, got the sky for my playground. Stay smoke, wouldn't have it any other way now. Look up in the sky and you might see me up there. Bag going full, always gotta have enough here. Green light, Oscar in the smell. Is like Thanks for rolling up. I'm Two Blood Marley, and this is Certified Pothead. You know what we about to do, bro. We about to get into these cannabis conspiracy theories, what I like to call cannabis conspiracy theories. I'm smoking on one of my uh, evening evening splits. Today's um conspiracy theory. We're going to be talking about Santa. Santa Claus. Jolly red suit mysterious. Oh no, stick with me here for a second. Imagine for a moment that Santa's yearly marathon of gift giving isn't fueled by Christmas magic, but by something a little bit more, let's say herbal. Yeah, I'm talking about the possibility that Santa's epic feats of chimney diving, reindeer flying, and time bending efficiency are thanks to a North Pole plant that makes you question your entire existence. I'm talking about cannabis people. We want to explore this completely unscientific theory, which to be honest is as believable as reindeer with a glowing nose. Could it be that the magic of Christmas is just a seasonal contact high? All right, so picture this. It's Christmas Eve, and Santa's about to embark on his annual journey. He's delivering billions of presents across the globe in one night, right? Seems like an impossible task for any mortal man. Even if that man does have flying reindeer and a GPS that would make Google Maps seem like a 1942 Christopher Columbus map. But let's get real here for a second. If you had to tackle that insane to-do list, wouldn't you want a little something to take the edge off? Wouldn't you want to blaze up a little of that sticky icky? If you had, nah, I mean, to run those kinds of errands, bruh. Before you go roll your eyes and dismiss, dismiss this theory as completely ridiculous, which to be fair, it is. But think about it, though. What if Santa's not relying on holiday magic at all? What if he's just baked out of his mind? It will certainly explain some things, you know. Like why he's always laughing. It's not joy, it's giggles. He got the stoner face. The chuckle bugs. The hee 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 hees. So could the real success to his secrets be hiding in the plant only found in the North Pole? I mean, the dude's been doing his job for centuries. Maybe he needs a little help to keep things festive. Here's a riddle for you. I flow without feet. I run without legs. I rise to the sky, then fall in soft pegs. What am I? Let's address the elephant in the room. How does a guy like Santa, who's, let's be honest, look like he could use a little cardio, manage to fly a sleigh full of gifts at speeds that would make Elon Musk green with envy? You don't even get me started on the reindeer. We've all accepted the idea of flying reindeer because, hey, it's Christmas. And we suspend our disbelief, but seriously, how does a regular woodland creature suddenly become a flying machine? Unless they've been mushing on some herbs that would make your local dispensary crazy with envy. Now I know, I know. Are you really saying your reindeer are out here snacking on weed? Yes, bruh. Yes, I am. And while we at it, maybe Sanders cultivating a crop of his own. After all, he does live in the North Pole where there's not a lot to do in the off season except from toy mating and whatever the elves do when they're not working. So having a little grow up in a North Pole bound greenhouse, that's not too far fetched, bruh. Here's another riddle for you. I shape mountains, yet I'm soft to the touch. I come in waves, but you can't hold much. What am I? Let's get to the part that really makes me scratch my head. The time thing. Santa delivers presents to every child in the world in one night. I don't care how fast you think your Amazon Prime shipping is. It's got nothing on Santa's operation. So how is he pulling this off? Well, think about it. Have you ever been sitting on the couch watching the show and suddenly realize it's 3 a.m. And you've lost five hours? What if Santa's just chilling in that state of mind whenever t the time comes to fly? He could be zipping around the world in what feels like an hour for him, but to us, it's a full night. Sure, it could be magic. Maybe he's just on a different wavelength. A very different wavelength. The kind that makes you question whether any of this is even real. While we're at it, let's be honest. If I had to break into a billion houses in one night, I'd want time to feel like it's dragging too. There's only so much milk and cookies a guy can handle before he needs a little existential break. I mean, I've had the munchies, but you can only eat so much. Here's a riddle. Though I am clear, I can turn you blind. Frozen solid. I'm sharp yet kind. What am I? We've yet to address... The reindeer. So let's break this down. Normal reindeer don't fly. They don't. This isn't 
Jungle Book where animals magically defy gravity. So how on earth are we to believe that reindeers do fly, but not only fly? Fly with a fully loaded sleigh strapped to their backs. You ever hear of those medieval knights who were so hopped up on adrenaline that they charge into a battle thinking they were invisible? Maybe, just maybe, these reindeer think they're flying and well, they just do it. You know how they say if you believe in yourself, anything's possible? Turns out this might apply to reindeer who snacked on some North Pole greenery. If they think they're flying, they might just take off. Honestly, bruh, I'm kind of jealous. I've been saying Bird Club 700 song. Ain't took off yet. Here's another riddle for you. I am born from clouds, yet I fall to the ground. I quench the thirst of all around. What am I? Let's talk about chimneys, bruh. If you've ever seen a modern day chimney, you'll know that even the thinnest person would have a hard time squeezing down one. Let alone the guy who's dying constantly. So I was saying uh, with his dad bod glory pulling off this trick. Here's the thing. Maybe he thinks he can fit down a chimney. It's like when you're feeling extra confident after a couple drinks and you know that you can do that ridiculous dance move from high school and against all odds. Somehow you pull it off. What if Santa just got that kind of confidence? He looks at the chimney, nods to himself. He thinks, let's do this. And somehow he does it. Maybe the cookies are giving him a little extra belief in himself. If you catch my drift, listen, let's face it. If Santa's just relying on holiday magic to make it through all those tight spaces, then my faith in physics has been officially shattered. What's the conclusion, bro? After examining all the evidence, and believe me, this was some serious research, I think um, it's safe to say that Santa's feats may not be magical as we once thought. Could it be the real secret to a success is a combination of a few choice North Pole plants and a really relaxed perception of time and space? Maybe. Or maybe I've been watching too many holiday specials. Either way, the next time you're leaving out cookies or milk for Santa, maybe consider throwing something else just in case he needs a little boost to make it through your neighborhood. After all, a sleigh ride that doesn't deserve a little bit more than sugars and dairies and a sleigh ride that I really want to be on. The answers to the riddles. Water, river, ice, rain. I'll see y'all on the next one, bro.